Hey everyone, Dan the Wild Birdman here. I have some awesome news for you guys. I passed my Cardfight Vanguard judge exam test, so I'm now a provisional judge for Cardfight Vanguard. Um, I wanted to thank Bushiroad. I wanted to thank you know you guys and you know everyone who's been supporting me. So I'm I'm pretty excited for that. You know I've got I think a lot of learning to do and a lot of practicing to do so that I can be you know the best judge that I can be but it's just it's an exciting feeling knowing that I'm going to be representing the community and just being a part of everything so I'm super super stoked for that um I did want to let you guys know really quick that the reason I've been you know not on YouTube for a while is I had my teeth fixed so I had you know wisdom teeth top and bottom taken out and I had this other uh tooth lose a filling at the beginning of COVID and by the time you know, that it hurt, it was kind of too late, you know, dentists weren't open for a long time in my area, so, you know, I didn't want to put myself through that kind of, like, dice roll of trying to fix the tooth and it possibly failing, so, you know, I just had it taken out, and I'll get a fake tooth, you know, put in later in life sometime, so, you know, maybe next year, but I will say, like, if you're afraid of getting your wisdom teeth out, don't be, like, I hate dental stuff, and it really wasn't that bad, like, the worst part is having to deal with, like, the chipmunk cheeks. Like, it didn't hurt me that much at all. Like, I will honestly say that the little, like, head scarf thing that they give you that has the ice packs in it ripped out one of my beard hairs, and that hurt way worse than getting any of my teeth pulled. So, I will tell you, don't be scared. Dan the Wild Birdman says it's, it's not too bad, so... You know, I'm glad that's behind us, and, you know, I couldn't exactly film with uh, chipmunk cheeks. You know, I had, like, my face was looking like a butternut squash coming out to there, but, uh, <laughs> you know, that's behind us. I did, real quick, want to thank Bushy Road for fixing the address locations of shops on their website. I emailed them a while back because the cities were missing on some of them, and, like, I scrolled through, you know, my area. A lot of them were out of date, so I just kind of, like, posted them like a corrected like I don't know what you say but like the corrected addresses and showed them you know this is what the addresses should look like you know a lot of these places are out of date I don't know if it was my email that helped I'm sure a lot of other people you know were also letting them know as well that things weren't updated but I had to scroll through like you know all the the 50 United States just to make sure it wasn't just my area but that appears to be fixed now so I'm super grateful for that because any time that a gaming company, you know, works with us, listens to us, and makes things accessible, you know, is a really huge positive sign. Like, I, I'm equally excited for that as my, uh, my judge program uh, victory. Because that, that just, it's awesome that they're listening to us. And that shows future players and prospective players that they care and that they're going to keep us informed and updated on things. So big props for that. Like can't thumbs up that enough. Um, also, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to be doing a mini series. So I'm going to be doing a card of the day mini series later on this month where I'm going to take one card, review it, tell you guys my thoughts on it, rate it, you know, tell you what decks and combos it goes into, maybe something like that. There was this website that I used to love when I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh! And it was called Pojo.com, right? They kind of do Vanguard stuff now, but it's, I guess it's not as popular as it used to be. I wish it was still a thing because it was just a really cool site, right? And they would do card of the day, right? They'd pick a card, any card. And they would write about it, rate it, review it. And this really helped me as a starting player because I could look at that card that I just pulled from a pack or was curious about and I could assess whether it was good or bad. And being able to see that card through these more experienced players' eyes, I was able to look at other cards that were similar and make a choice you know, about running it or not running it based on that. So I kind of wanted to do that, you know, try my hand at it for you guys. Feel free to leave me suggestions of what cards you want me to review. I'm probably going to be better at reviewing the V and D series cards 
But if you guys want me to review anything, feel free to just post it below and I'll take my best shot at it and uh, we'll see how it goes. You know, if it, if it really takes off, I'll do more. And if it doesn't, well, I tried. Uh, what else was I going to say? Oh yeah, I am making a little bit of Bakugan content. You know, I still, you know, enjoy Bakugan. I've kind of, you know, taken a little backseat on it because I've just kind of fallen in love with Vanguard and took a little break. You know, but I did pick up some really cool Bakugan. I'm doing at least one review on Demark. I'm going to try and find, you know, some of his different uh, colorations. But right now, Darkest Demark is going to be, you know, probably the next video that I post. So stick around for that. And, uh, yeah. So that's been pretty much my update. Feel free to leave me a comment or, you know, whatever you want to do. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.